Greetings everyone, it's Architech. In this video, I will show a range of tools from the neural network, Prom AI, that will assist you in your work and creativity. The video is made for the Architech channel. Let's go! The Scene Change Tool Like all tools, is located in the AI Tools section. With the help of it, you can change the daytime scene to a nighttime one alter the season and weather conditions within it. To do this, you need to upload the original file. On the left, there is a prompt field, where you can enter a clarifying hint. Now, it's better to take a look at the options section, where the style is located, thanks to which all the magic happens, in three categories, season, weather and time of day. You can choose one from the options. The Stoil Intensity Slider controls how intensely the Stoil affects the original image. In the negative prompt field, you can enter anything that should not appear in the final image. Use it as needed. The next two settings are available by subscription. Interesting detail. It adjusts the level of detail in the image, but unfortunately, it sacrifices generation speed. This slider controls the number of images generated from 1 to 3. After all the checkboxes are marked, you just need to click Generate, which will start the generation process, which will take some time. The number on the button indicates the cost of generation in coins, the local currency. The balance is right there. As a result, I got three excellent rainy scene options. I will try to create a nighttime scene. I will select the time of day, midnight. Set the stylization to 25 and send it for generation. And I see that night has come. However, the scene is now lacking light. To rectify this, you need to enter a clarifying hint in this field. The prompt should be entered in English, so basically, if you do not know English, actively reuse translators. Now everything is ready. Now the nocturne scene has light and everything is fine. You can save the result you like by clicking on this icon. The history of generation is stored for only 30 days. The saved images can subsequently be found here, in the assets. Each image, in addition to the folder and upload icon, has an edit button next to it. This opens a menu of recommended and recent editing tools. Now, let's consider the HD Upscaler. It enhances the detail of an image, while potentially fixing minor artifacts. Each time, it doubles the resolution of the original image. There is also a prompt field here. You choose this template depending on what your original image is. Not anime or animation. In this case, you will need the natural template. The creativity slider controls how much the upscaler deviates from the original image during generation. The higher the level, the clearer and more detailed the resulting images will be. However, there is a high chance that obvious changes will be made to it. The parameter has four levels, low, light, middle and high. You choose the level depending on your tasks. In this way, you can perform image size doubling several times in a row. Next tool, this actually consists of four point editing tools. They act on the image locally, affecting only the selected area. Let's take the image and use the replace tool. 
in the working window. You can zoom in or out of the image using the icons or keyboard shortcuts. Using the magic wand for outer selection, you can quickly select the desired object. For more precise work, there is a brush selection, the size of which the size of which can be adjusted here. And less at all. The size of the eraser is controlled in the same way as the brush size and you can remove the selection. To replace the selected cushions with, say, a soft toy, you need to input the corresponding hint into the prompt field. After the generation starts, the final options will be available not only here, but also right there. In the working area, a small previews. This may be enough to choose a preferred option and mark it for further editing. Remove delete the selected object. It works in the same way, only a prompt is not needed. Select an area and start the generation. Recolor will change the selected object's color. Desired color changes can be entered as a prompt in the prompt field. As a result, there was one plush pitch, which is also very nice, and two cushions in pitch color. I will probably choose this one. Retouch clarifies the selected areas. That is, you can regenerate a section of the image. For example, with an error, or artifact. In this case, no prompt is required. You just needed to select the area and then the model will determine and detail the object by itself. Out painting is an extension of the original image. For proper operation, the developers recommend stopping at a small area for expansion. You can also crop the original image here. There are ready-made presets. This can also be done manually. In the prompt field, you need to write what should be on the final image. In this case, I am writing Norwegian landscape with a lake. Size has a wide range of templates and aspect ratios for implementing the most popular tasks. I will start with 1 to 1. The parameter outer fill centers the original and scales it to the short side of the selected template. Here is how this works. We will leave it on for now. Or here's an example of a template for a YouTube banner. This time, outer fill will be disabled. Render region allows generating section of the image using a reference image. Thanks to this, we can change the materials of the object, their appearance and shape, or even replace them with entirely another. In the first example, you will need to add the same image to both upload slots. Using the already known selection tools, I carefully outline this modern chair and consider its reflection on the surface. For example, I will change the color and material of the chair. 
However, its shape will remain the same. Do this, I write a prompt in the field. Modern Green Plush Chair. Here are the methods by which the selected area is generated. Each is presented with description. By the way, the website has a Russian localization. You need to choose depending on the task at hand. Should I preserve the structure of the object or only import? I will choose the structure. There is also the option to input a negative prompt. Alright, but what if I completely replace this chair with a completely different one? To do this, an image needs to be uploaded in this window. I already have one prepared in assets. This chair I created here in Promo AI using the image generator. Then I removed the background with another tool, which is called background removal. To fit the new chair into the original image, I need to select the appropriate area, then scale the object according to the size of the selected area. For a more precise result, a prompt needs to be entered in the prompt field. Now I can make the final adjustments to the selected area for more accurate functioning of the tool. Then ensure that the correct node is selected and begin the generation. Relight allows you to relight the image, essentially, completely or partially changing the lighting in your scene. For example, let's use the already familiar edited image with the plush teddy bear. Here, in the light composition, there are many templates. For example, I will choose this one. Additionally, you can use extra settings in the stylization section. When activated, this kind of module appears. There is an interesting object detection feature here that automatically identifies the main object in an image. This helps achieve the best scene re-illumination. Currently, it's not needed. The style contains various lightning effects. And with color, you can change the colors of the original image. For example, I will select natural lightning. It's evident that significant changes have been made to the color and light. I recommend experimenting boldly with combinations of different modes. Background diffusion will remove the background from the image and replace it with any other. Key objects can be resized manually. There is also a field for prompts here. The style contains templates divided by themes. Right now, furniture in a room will be suitable. It's clear that there are also subgroups with various styles. As an example, I will choose the Italian industrial template. The ratio governs the aspect ratio of the final image. You can use one of the ready-made options or enter a value manually. Conveniently, through this function, you can upload a reference image. The precise slider adjusts the saturation or intensity of the background. For instance, with a value of 100, 
you will get a completely empty grey background. I will use the well-known out of it and start the generation process. As a result, you get an image that can then be sent for enhancement or further editing, re-illumination, replacement of materials or even objects, etc. This video covers only a small part of the available functions and tools. All of them are designed to save time in one way or another. Additionally, they help to quickly find new ideas and unexpected solutions. I highly recommend experimenting with deep remedies and combining the tools with each other. There is a tree in the description, a prompt configurator that we created specifically for Promo AI and a promo code for free coins for generation. This was Architech Team, follow our channel, leave a like and see you in the next one. Goodbye.